<laughs> Finally. It's been a while. A long while. Um, so this is going to be a really long road trip and I don't want to do the whole thing in a really long video. So it's going to be put, break and broke, blah. It's going to be broken down into what, four to five parts. We're going to go across four states. So probably four parts, but who knows. Um, so right now we're going through Texas and we'll what from Seguin starting from Seguin going to Richards and we're stopping about halfway because we're going to visit the National Park Sam Houston National Park and take a mushroom excursion and then right after that go ahead and hit the road again onto the next state which would be Louisiana and then again stop by for a mushroom excursion and go on forward so that's pretty much going to be the parts broken into so first is Texas second Louisiana third Mississippi Fourth, we'll be in Alabama. That should that should be the right route. <laughs> um, so yeah, that many parts for that many states. <laughs> The trail we're on is the famous Lone Star Hiking Trail. Right now we're starting at number one, which is just east of Richards, Texas. So I guess if you're looking at the whole map of the trail or the whole map of the National Forest, we're on the far west end and we're kind of just going to trickle our way towards east north. I don't know, probably do about a couple miles. We'll see how we get, how far we get. <laughs> Anyways, let's find some mushies. Come on, come on. Who's a good girl? Look, we found a mushroom. Oh, okay, she's already tired. Ooh, it's so little. It's a baby. Okay, let's see. Oh, those are the keys. Here's my knife. I'm sorry, Fern, but... It's a little, uh, it's a little gilled mushroom. That, oh, it looks pretty beat up. Let's see. Oh my gosh, if I can get a grip. Hmm. Yeah. So, there's no bruising of any kind, and it looks like it has free to adnate gills, I think that's the right one, or adnext. I confuse those two all the time, but so cute. This is the only one that we've seen out here, and we walked, how many feet would you say? 100 feet. 100 feet into the trail, and here's a little mush. Good start, good start. <laughs> Okay. Well, let's go find some more. Okay. So, well, let's go to Little Lake Creek Loop because maybe there's a little lake. Sounds like a plan, Stan. Come on, guys. Come on. Okay. Did you see that big? Is that like a giant bug? Yeah. Like a giant grasshopper. Of sorts. We're like in a jungle. I know. Isn't it great? I feel like they're hidden. Yeah. In, in, in nooks and crannies under these leaves and I can't get to them. I don't have a stick. 
<laughs> Not to mention you'd probably step on them before you found them if you went traipsing through there. That's true. We'll just keep looking for ones right on the trail. Right, found a few more. These look orangish in color. I think these are like, um... I think they're cantharelles. Kind of like... I forget what these are called, but... They're like chanterelles, but not chanterelles because they're orange and thin, but they have decurrent gills. Oh, well they actually have this, this thorny. What, Jazzy, you wanna see the mushroom? Huh? <laughs> oh, it's so hot. Okay. It is pretty warm. I'm gonna cut it, see if anything comes out. so you can have a better chance of uh, noise. So it looks like it's got, so it's a well, jazzy orange uh, on the outside, inner white flesh, and it's a uh, pretty, what's the word? Opposite of hollow. Full? I guess. It has a pretty full stipe. Pretty solid stipe, yeah. On to the next one? On to the next one. Yee. You okay there, Cheese? Is the water better? You like the water? Mushroom three? Yeah. Mushroom three. And this one is not like your cap and stock or stipe kind of mushroom. Get out of the way, Lynx. Okay, well. Ooh, ooh, it's fleshy. Oops. Ooh, yep. Uh, polypore. Growing out of this sandy gravel-ish. Oops. I'm destroying this mushroom. But anyway, as you may see, fleshy. Uh, I'm gonna turn it over. Mm -hmm. It's got zonation patterns. It's not very hairy. It's got some fibers on there. But they're very fine fibers. The center is really interesting too. Well, this is mushroom three, right? No, four. Mushroom four, I think, yeah. I don't know. I lost count. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, another mushroom. <laughs> mushroom five? Four? I think four. Four, actually. Yeah. Okay. Well, four, five. <laughs> so, there's this white one. Oops. Well, it's like white, light tannish color. And it looks pretty old. Oops. <gasps> oh. 
I think this is like a Rasula or something. I would say Lactarius, but, well, let's see. It would lactate. Nope. So I'm guessing Rasula because it's, it's attached, but it's like a straight cut off. It's a straight separation between the stipe and the gills. They're pretty close together and then they're equal in length. Because there aren't any varying lengths. Yeah, that's the best way to put it. So I'm guessing this is a Rasula. And it also has a very stumpy stipe that kind of tapers at the bottom. It seems to be characteristic. And it has a depression in the center as well. I don't know. My guess, but we'll see. <laughs> Looks pretty old. It's got some flakes on it too. I don't think I've seen that in a Rasula. So this is four. And these little brown ones are five. <laughs> okay, so I can get it in my hand. These little brown ones, well, the entire coloration of the mushroom is like a light brown color. And it's pretty fibrous. It has fine hairs all along the cap. And, oops, and a bit of the stipe, but it looks kind of stringy. And, and the gills are varying in length, so that's kind of what I was trying to explain earlier. And the difference between the rasul looking and this little mushroom. Equal gills, varying length gills. No idea what this little brown one is. It might just be a general LBM, little brown mushroom. Um, the... <sighs> we'll see. It's so hot. <laughs> Next ones. Check it out. We were just right there getting the little brown one and the white one. And these were just right next door. Look at that big giant one. Man, oh, man. oh my gosh. Bruh. Eh. Oh. oh my gosh. So there's one, two, three, four, four, five. Oh! That's a lot. I wonder if they're like the little one I found. Oh, no harm. I don't know where to start. I guess the big one. Oh my gosh, it's so big, it's pretty. Ooh, there's a bunch of bugs by it. This is like an avatar out here. Scurry bugs, scurry. Ooh. I know it's too hot to wear long sleeves, but I feel like that would have been a good time. Okay. My handy dandy brush. <laughs> well, this one's definitely been chewed up. Oh my gosh. There's no way of taking that out. But this looks like a, a Lactarius, maybe. Just maybe. It's got a hole right through the middle. Huh. They've been they've been getting in there for sure. Kind of? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just cut it and there's a little bit of milkiness coming out. Oh, yeah. So this is a Lactarius. Okay, so the gills are equal and there's a separation between the gills and stipe. But these are, these gills are a lot closer and compact than the last one that I thought was a Rasula. 
Why won't you get more inky? It's coming. It's a little monster. Oh my gosh. And it's just cheese. Hide your mushrooms. <laughs> ah okay. Cool. What mushroom is this? Okay, so this is number seven, author. Uh and it looks like maybe another Rasula or Lactarius type of mushroom. So I think it's so weird that mushrooms lactate. <laughs> For those of y'all wondering, that whimpering is still Jazz. I don't think she's used to the heat. But don't worry, we're giving her pl plenty of water, so... She's just complaining for nothing. Okay. I brought it out because there's a lot of spider webs over there. Mm. Okay, okay, okay. So... This one, ooh, I think this one does lactate. Ah, you can kind of see already. Yeah, look at that. Oh wow, that's a lot. Mm-hmm. So this is definitely a, a lactarius. Oh, but look at that. The gills aren't equal. They're very close, but they're pretty variant in length. Interesting. Alrighty. Well, this is a yellow, or maybe like a goldish yellow color. Um, so this one... I've seen this one in textbooks, but... I'm not sure. I don't remember what the name is. Cool! This looks like the only one, right? Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Where? Right there on the stick. Oh, right in the sun. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. <gasps> yeah. To elaborate my excitement, this one looks like it might be some kind of Ganoderma. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so cool. Never seen it in the wild. And you can see it still has this. Well. Very sturdy stipe, and it's going from like a dark maroon, brown, red to an orange to a light yellow, and then a white. It's very characteristic of that kind of mushroom. Okay, so back to this one. <laughs> okay, this one Ooh, it's pretty fleshy. I don't know if it has pores or gills. Just to cut a piece. Oh, this Texas heat. <laughs> Bro. Yeah. Ooh, lots of creepy crawlies. A lot. Yeah. Cool. Yep. Oh my gosh. So it's a polypore fleshy. Shelf mushroom growing out of this rotten wood. I would pick it, but there's a lot of creepy crawlies, and I'll let them have it. Plus, this Texas heat's about burning me up. Oh my god, yeah. Ugh, I think they actually got me this time. I think mosquitoes. Anyway, so this baby, I think, is an actual chanterelle because it's got false gills, which are more like ridges and veins. Um, than traditional gills. As you can see, they run kind of along this type a bit. But, if I remember correctly, this, those are the key characteristics of a chanterelle, aside from the orange uh, color. This one's very old. It was the only one I found out here, so. Yay! Let's find more. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going, Jazz? It's 
Still hot? <laughs> My first one. Here's the uh, Little Lake Creek, literally. So it's like little. a puddle. Yeah. This is what you call a giant puddle. Woo. Jazzy usually hates being wet, but she just laid in the water. That means she's hot. We're both hot. All three of us are hot. <laughs> Yeah. I dip in myself, but no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> just by the little creek or little lake creek, <laughs> we found some more. Very hard. Hmm. Maybe it's some kind of parasite. I know that there's the there's a parasite, a fungus called Hypomyces lactiflorum mm -hmm. that likes to parasitize white rasulas and lycarius species. I forget which one specifically, but this doesn't look like Hypomyces lactiflorum. When it parasitizes on the mushroom, it gives a bright red orange color similar to a lobster shell and that's why when it parasitizes the mushroom it gives the name lobster mushroom mm. anyway maybe this is some kind of hypomyces um i don't know i've never seen one like this yeah oh yeah Ooh. So it's an orange color and maybe it's a I don't know. I don't know what baby chanterelles look like, but cool. It's got a bit of a waxy cap. And a stipe that doesn't really bruise. Put this one right here first. Right next to the chanterelle. Okay. So, these teeny tiny little brown one was right next to where I found the uh, very small yellowish one. I pulled this one out and it like shimmered in my face never seen a little brown mushroom do that. Usually they're either fibrous, similar to the first couple ones we found, or they're slimy and wet, or they're just waxy. But this one's got a really shimmery, fibrous, almost silky texture to it that you can just see. I don't know if I can... It's... The underside looks like it has pores. But they're kind of, they're very shallow pores. They're not very deep. And the stipe is very shriveled. Huh. Yeah. So cool. Uh, that's very interesting. Unique. So hopefully it's easier to figure out what this one is. Oranges.
so. <sighs> you see him, Jess? You gonna sit right there? Okay, perfect. You're in the shot. All right, so walking by. Actually, we were walking back to the start of the trail, and we found some more. Wow, where's my knife? Oh, here it is. Some more, what I would say, looks like Ganoderma. And then there's more right there. See, that one's a lot bigger. And then there's another one over there. Yeah. Cool. Okay. So I left that other little one we saw. This is a sign that I gotta take one of these. For sure. <laughs> so... We're going to do that and then keep heading back because it's so hot. And we're tired. And mosquitoes are getting us like crazy. Yeah, don't come to Texas. It's a terrible place. Yeah. I mean, look at Jess. She's dying. Yep. <laughs> oh, shit. This whole thing just came out. Oh, yeah. bad. I mean, it's got a little root in there, but uh, I'll leave it. Yo, yo, yo. I'm so excited. Got some mycelium on there. Mycelia. Okay. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Onward, Jazz. Come on. <laughs> <He's> like, <"Really?" laughs> Come on, <gasps> Okie dokie. So, we're back from doing the trail. We're gonna, from here, keep driving out of Texas into Louisiana, and that will conclude part one of the road trip to Alabama miniseries. <laughs> so. Are you tired? I'm very tired. I'm very tired and sweaty and gross and thirsty and, and jazz is. The same? Yeah. Mine is sweaty. Her panting equals sweating. <laughs> So. All right, let's go to the gym and shower.